Hi everybody, this is Lance Thompson, the Assistant Director of Student Involvement for Campus Activities at Carthage College. Um, you may have seen me around campus. And um, we have for you our very first orientation training video. Just uh, sit back, pay attention, it'll all be over soon. And um, thank you. Orientation staff, this is Nick Winkler, Associate Dean of Students and Director of Student Conduct. I hope you all are doing well and looking forward to uh, this training so that we can get ready for uh, fall 2020 and our new students. Uh, my year, I was first in orientation leader in 1998, so I'll let you do that math for how long I've been around orientation. And the thing I love most about orientation is the awesome energy and excitement that you all bring and the care uh, that we uh, demonstrate in order to bring our new students officially uh, into Carthage and uh, welcome them uh, as part of our campus community. Hey everyone, it's Liz Snyder, the Assistant Dean of Students and Director of Student Involvement, coming at you live um, from my patio because we finally are having a nice day here uh, in Kenosha. Uh, it's totally weird to still be doing this even though we're getting used to virtual everything over the last couple of weeks, uh, but I just wanted to Say thank you for taking time to uh, participate in this spring meeting and thank you for being willing to serve as an orientation leader. Um, I'm really excited for my second new student orientation at Carthage uh, and just can't wait to be a part of the program once again. Uh, orientation is something that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, as an undergrad, I was super involved both as an orientation leader and the position that was similar to a captain at my alma mater. Um, and you all really make the biggest difference in how we kick off the year. So I'm excited to be working with you all again. I'm excited to see all of your faces when we're able to be back together. And I can't wait to welcome our newest class of Carthaginians together. I'll see you all soon. Hey y'all, my name is Mitch. I am a sophomore going into my junior year now. I'm a vocal music education major from Crystal Lake, Illinois. I'm an elder for the Merely Players Improv Comedy Troupe. I am a, I'm on the Neo Futurists, and I am in Lincoln Chamber Singers. And three reasons that I love the new student organization is you get to make, meet some great people. Uh, the friends that you make in the new student organization are gonna last you for the rest of college, if not past that and you get to hang out with some really cool orientation leaders. Um, so yeah, we're really happy to have you and uh, wash your hands. Hi guys, my name is Tierney, but I go by Ty. I'm a junior going into my senior year here at Carthage. Um, I'm a criminal justice major and I live in Kissimmee, Florida. I'm also a part of the track team as well as Pi Theta. I think my favorite thing about orientation would probably be watching the new students kind of come together, fit in more, and get more comfortable with each other because I think that as orientation leaders, that's a big part of what we do, and that's kind of our goal for them. So that's why that's so important for me to see, I think. So thanks, guys. Hi, everyone. I'm Nate Metter. I'm from Crystal Lake, Illinois, and I'm a junior accounting and finance major. I'm on the track and field team, uh, the student athlete advisory committee representative, and also on the Carthage Accounting Association. Um, my favorite part of new student orientation would be watching the freshmen become friends with each other. Um, my main friend group that I still hang out with today was from orientation, and it's just cool to see that happen for everyone else. Many of y'all remember online check-in is getting ready to launch here May 15th, and that is due July 31st this year. So please make sure that you log in your portal and complete all of those tasks. And if you need assistance uh, in, in, in regards to any of the uh, to-do items, make sure you reach out to the office in which that uh, button item falls under. Right now, we're planning to have move-in on September 3rd. That's a Thursday. It'll be uh, early afternoon, 12 to 2. And then um, we will start training that evening in person if we can all uh, gather. Hello again. It's Lance. So I'm going to go over the orientation leader commitment agreement form uh, to make sure that you actually agree to these things. The biggest thing on this that you need to be um, focused on is the community code information. Um, you know, you're being let on campus a couple days before everybody. Um, you aren't allowed to have guests um, stay over and that sort of thing. Um, so make sure that if you have a roommate, they aren't moving in early, that sort of thing with you. Um, 
the other thing is you need to refrain from any sort of um, substances, alcohol, drugs, that sort of thing, while orientation is in session. So through Thursday through Tuesday, um, make sure to um, stay away from that sort of stuff. We have had that issue in the past, and it's certainly an unfortunate and awkward conversation for everyone involved. So just keep that in mind. Um, and it's pretty straightforward, just kind of, we want you to be yourselves and we want you to um, be available for the student. We um, hired you and you applied because you thought you could do this job and you're qualified just be, just from being a Carthage student. So um, that's the agreement form. So check that out in the near future. So orientation is a huge production and it takes a lot of hard work from all of you uh, in order for us to pull this off. We really can't kick off the year without you and the role that you play is so important, particularly with returning to campus in the fall, your role may look a little bit different than it has in the past. Uh, so while we're so excited to have things be back to normal on campus as soon as they possibly can, uh, things may require an added level of flexibility this coming year that they haven't in years past. So please uh, be mindful of that. Um, feel comfortable asking us questions or letting us know if you have concerns. We're here to support you just in the way you support the program. Um, but your role is going to be extremely vital no matter how we're approaching the orientation program for the fall. Okay. And um, as orientation leaders, you're the first students um, outside of um, their friend group that they're going to get to know and um, look towards for advice and for mentorship and friendship and things like that. So um, it's it's more important than you think. And I know it's a lot of fun, but it's also, you know, it's, it's, it's serious business. And we know that you'll work really hard to make it. Um, a great experience for everyone involved. So thank you all for offering to do this first of all. And um, it'll be it'll be in these uncertain times, as they say. I just have always wanted to say that. So, <laughs> so when we get back in the in the fall, there will be a lot of assignments, uh, everything from the arrival and moving in to uh, large group sessions, small group sessions. Um, and, and behind the scenes things uh, in order to, to pull off the, the few days of orientation. So uh, again, uh, we'll have all of that uh, when we get back for training, hopefully. We also hope that in the time that everyone's home or away from campus doing their virtual instruction and then over the summer um, that you all can work to form relationships with each other. Um, we know being apart has maybe shifted some things for a lot of you, but not only does the way that you and your OL partner interact with each other set the tone with um, the rest of the students, the new students for how we engage with each other on campus and what it means to be a member of the community. Um, but that's true for the larger group too. So reach out to each other. There are likely people that you don't necessarily know or maybe don't know well. So get to know those folks. Um, we want this entire collective group to really be a strong representation of what our community means uh, and be a positive display of that too the new students who will come and join in our community. So figure out ways that you can engage with the people that you do know, get to know the ones that you don't, um, so that that way when we're all back together, uh, it's an even more exciting time because you have um, strong relationships that you can rely on from the start of orientation training. And in terms of moving forward, I will continue to work with the captains to plan fall training. Uh, the captains will be reaching out to all of you uh, as well. From us, you can expect a couple of communications over the summer. So in June uh, and in July, just kind of checking in and talking a little bit about uh, the the fall. And uh, you know, we certainly hope that we can uh, do this all in person, but know that we are uh, working uh, to plan out several scenarios uh, if we're restricted in terms of how we can gather uh, in Wisconsin. And we'll keep you all uh, updated and aware of what that will look like. That said, we know that uh, things have changed for a lot of us. Um, things are bizarre right now. And so if your willingness or ability or interest in being an OL has changed uh, or will change over the next couple, coming weeks, um, we'd really appreciate if you could let us know that by June 15th. So that way we can make sure that we have the team as intact as possible and ready to go for when we return in September. Um, please do be 
in communication with us and be direct about what your status is. If you can't join us, we'll be disappointed because we want everybody to be a part of this great, great team. We also understand that things happen. And so um, if you can't participate for whatever reason, please just let us know that. Be flexible. Let's go. We can do this. And uh, wash your hands.